Hey guys, I'm Harsh. Welcome back to Law School 101. Today we will be doing part 3 of series which would be the last part of our chapter. After this we will wrap it up. And in this part we will be doing alphabetical series. So without wasting any further time, let's start. So this is not just an alph alphabetical series but um, it has a numeric element to it as well so we call them as alpha numeric series although this can be done easily with the help of the options so let's see how to do it so here we have a then d then g so what would come next so if you remember the positions of the alphabets then uh, things will become really easy for you so A is 1, D is 4, G is 7. So after 3 more alphabets, D comes and after 3 more, G comes and after 3 more after G, well, the 10th letter would come that is J. So we have to see what option contains J, this contains J. So this can be the answer. What about the numbers? They are following some sequence too. So since we have 256 here, we can see that they are squares or um, they are squares of some kind. Okay, so 1 is 1 square, 16 is 4 square, um, 81 is 9 square and then um, we are having squares of 1, 4, 9. So squares of the squares that is raising to the power of 4. So if, if this is 1 raised to 4, then this is 2 raised to 4, then this is 3 raised to 4 and 256 is 4 raised to 4. So this is the logic that we were following. Letters are having a gap of 2 and the number is having a gap of uh, the square of the square that is raising to the power of 4. So even if we had sorted out the letter part, then only we you know then also we could have yeah, easily marked answer number four without even looking at the numbers so this is a trick that can be really useful when dealing with alpha numeric series now let's move on to the next question okay so um, in this question we have three letters in one um, element that is this so usually not always but usually this letter must be related to this letter and this letter must be related to this so each letter would be related to its counterpart so the middle one will always always be related to the middle one of the uh, next element so keeping that in mind we do this so <clears throat> if we add 4 to b we get f so 2 plus 4 6 and um, then we add uh, 7 so i have written 6 by mistake it should be 7 corrected so 6 plus 7 is 13 which is letter m okay similarly we see that um, the letter c added 5 becomes h and then added 8 becomes p and then here um, D plus 6 becomes J and 10 plus 9 is 19 so 19th letter is S so in case you are weak with you know remembering the positions of the alphabets do check out part 1 of coding decoding that will help you loads okay so if, if we know the you know positions of the letters things become really easy for us so anyways what do we observe we observe that um, they are being increasing in this pattern but we don't find any uh, obvious pattern right now so let's see 4 and 7 so the increment is getting increased by 3 always okay so here it is 6 and then it is increased by 3 which is 9 here also the increment is increased by 3 so this pattern is being followed out throughout the series so if the next letter is to be added then we'll have to add 3 to 9 which will be plus 12 and 
s plus 12 would be uh, 19 plus 12 which would be 31 and 31 is basically um, after 27 we start from a again and 31 would be the fifth letter so it would be e all right similarly we add in all these letters and this is what happens so we add plus 3 plus 3 so it becomes 9 after 6 and then it becomes uh, 11 after 8 we add 3 here to the increments so then our arrangement becomes w a e and which becomes option number 1 so this is how you do these questions i hope you guys understood it let's move on to the next one okay now try it out and then we'll solve it together okay so you must have tried out every fancy trick that you could have found or complicated calculations but trust me this question does not require that because the examiner is tricking you in a different way so what is he doing is that he took the numbers you know not one two three but actually how we write them in english so o stands for one t stands for two t stands for three again f four five six seven eight so that is how they were tricking you um and then the next one would obviously be nine so n which is option number four so it is not always that they're tricking you with using calculations and um, patterns and stuff like that they could also be doing something as simple as this so it all depends on how much you have practiced how much you have been tricked only when you have tricked then you have the ability to um, you know uh, see what they are doing and you know basically outwit them and you outwit them by getting your answer right so i have one similar uh, variety so this appeared in mhct i think the sample paper of mhct and many were confused by this i'll give you one clue it's related to the months of the year so once you know that then you know m most of you might have got the answer i'll still tell you how i got it so j here could be a month of the year that is january or june or even july so if we take january and then this becomes april or august or um, and this becomes september so it does not make much sense let's take june and um, it still does not make sense even if you try doing for all but if you take this as july and this as august and then this will be september and october and november then these will be the consecutive months of the year okay and then it becomes really easy that the next letter uh, in sequence would be december that is d so option number three becomes our correct answer so i hope you get that sometimes you're tricked in very simple ways and we kind of overlook it <clears throat> and are uh, and we are unable to find the answer now this is a different variety of alphabetical series now here you have been given a series of alphabets and they are in some or the other order and uh, these elements or these letters have been hidden but since we know that they are following some patterns and it is crackable by looking at the remaining part and once we crack the remaining the pattern of the remaining part we can fill these um, spaces so first thing that i would recommend doing in such questions is counting the letters that are containing including the spaces which are obviously letters that have been omitted so there are total 16 um, you know letters going on here now what to do is to divide them okay so maybe the series is playing out in parts so what you do is divide them so 16 can be divided into 4 into 4 or 8 into 8 8 into 2 
but it's always better to divide them in multiples of three or four because that is what the examiner is usually trying to hide um, the series in so we divide it into four into four and then we look at the remaining series now does it make sense um a a is here a a is here b comes out in the starting b is in the starting c is in the second place c is in the second place so this could be b c a and um, last one is a b c a a b c a a b c a a so this is the pattern that they are following <clears throat> okay and we cracked it after you know dividing it and individually working it on each um you know sub part that is how we deal with these question now let's try another one of the same variety now in this if you try dividing it then it won't work so let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 so they are almost 15 here but uh, if you try dividing it then it won't work so then what you could do is directly put in the options and see what kind of series you are getting so since there are 15 here we can divide it into 5 into 3 or 3 into 5 or anything but it won't work so if it doesn't work then directly put in the options then it becomes lengthy of course but that is the only way to get the answer so what do we observe that after putting option number three we get a pattern like this so two a's three b's four c's and five d's so this is a kind of pattern that they are following and if it fits then obviously they are the answer okay so we are done with series i hope you guys learned something new in this video and um, follow law school 101 on um, instagram and also subscribe to us on youtube it would be really helpful for you as you would get daily updates and um, most importantly take care of yourself and uh, we'll be back in a new video with a new topic till then um, take care and uh, peace